Salma Hayek suffered from depression in her 20s due to acne. During her young adult years, Salma found herself battling with severe acne, a condition that left her feeling severely depressed. The next stage with that sort of depression is food. Too little, or too much, she explained to the magazine Lucky. I was fat and broken out. I couldn't leave the house and I couldn't pay the rent. She credits director Alfonso Cuaron for teaching her to meditate and relax, and Accutane, a strong medication, for curing her acne. She was firstly famous in Mexico, thanks to soap operas. But Salma had bigger dreams, so she moved to the US, against her family's advice, who called her crazy for taking such a risk. But as we all know, it paid off. She has dyslexia. She realized it only after moving to Los Angeles and trying to learn English, but that didn't bother her that much. She still managed to learn a second language, and she sees that as a secret weapon today. Some people read really fast, but you'll ask them questions about the script and they'll forget. I take a long time to read a script, but I read it only once. She wore temporary tattoos to the MTV Music Video Awards because she couldn't afford expensive jewelry. Early in her career, Salma Hay faced challenges finding designers to dress her or lend her jewelry for public appearances. But instead of letting that bring her down, she embraced her inner fabulousness and made a bold statement at the 1998 TV Music Video Awards. In a stunning black dress, Salma painted butterfly tattoos on herself and radiated confidence and self-love. In an interview with Vogue India, Salma shared how she turned potential insecurity into a moment of empowerment and self-expression. She realized that creativity is everything and that true beauty comes from within. She almost got fired from Desperado. Sama's big break arrived in 1995 with Desperado, starring another brand new star, Antonio Banderas. However, she went very close to be taken away from the project. The issue? She didn't want to be mute on camera for the movie love scene. According to her, the scene took eight hours to film instead of one. Obviously, she wasn't fired and the movie became cult, launching her Hollywood career. Her pranks got her kicked out of a Catholic boarding school. Before finding out she loved acting, Sama's first passion was pranks. Something that's not specially liked in Catholic school, like the one she attended at 12. She sometimes caused chaos by turning the clocks back an hour earlier, resulting in her classmates waking up too early. They were up at 4 or 5 a.m. doing their makeup and hair. I laughed for about two hours. She told to the rap, Hayek's grandma shaved her head and eyebrows. Imagine growing up with a grandmother who had a unique approach to hair care. She would shave your head and brows to make them thicker. This is exactly what happened to Salma Hayek when she was younger. She started her own production firm in 1999. Salma Hayek took the entertainment industry by storm when she founded her own production company, Ventanarosa, in 1999. Translating to Rose Colored Window, this small yet mighty studio has already collaborated with some of the biggest names in the game including Netflix and Lionsgate, proving that Salma is a force to be reckoned with in the world of production.